Hi, David Gann here with another question from the question bank. We're looking at uh, Young's double slit experiment in topic uh, 9.3. Um, so we have a double slit and red light uh, shown below. So we get the red light from a source of white light, which passes through a red filter, and then it goes through a single slit so that uh, we can make sure that the light is coherent. Then the light spreads out due to diffraction, passes through the double slit, and we can observe on the screen uh, our double slit interference pattern, which we expect to look something like this. In the center, we'll have a bright spot. So this is a graph of intensity. In the center, we'll have a bright spot, followed alternatingly by dark spots, light spots, dark spots, light spots. Same on the other side. Dark spots, light spots, dark spots, light spots, and so on. Uh, so the question says, we see that the interference pattern of light and dark fringes is observed on the screen. Uh, the red filter is now replaced by a blue filter. Um, state and explain the change in the appearance, other than the change of color, of the fringes on the screen. So how do they look different besides being blue? Um, well, because the width of the central maximum is described by this equation, the angle to that minimum, to the angle to this minimum, so that angle theta, is determined by the wavelength of light divided by the width of the slit, or the distance between the slits, b. b hasn't changed, but lambda has. The wavelength has gone down. Blue light is a lower wavelength than red light. And since the wavelength has gone down, the separation between the gaps the separation between the dark spots will also go down. Uh, the width of the maximum will get smaller, and the interference pattern will appear smaller. So we can say that the uh, fringes will get smaller and closer together. Because the wavelength of the light is smaller. Or shorter. So we had to state and explain. Part two says the filter is now removed. State and explain the appearance of the central maximum fringe and also the fringes that are away from the central position. So we're going to get rid of the red filter, or well, it was a blue filter, we're going to get rid of it entirely and allow the white light to go through the double slit experiment. Um, we'll just pretend that this black line is blue. The red light would have looked a little bit different. It would have been a little bit wider. But it still has the same maximum. So all of the wavelengths of light come together at this spot, and we get white light. But as we get further away, the patterns spread out and differ from each other more and more, so that at the next bright spot, we get a rainbow, where blue occurs first, followed by uh, whatever comes next, going backwards on the Roy G. Biv thing. So if blue and violet are first, we'll see green next followed by yellow, followed by orange and red. So to answer the question, we can say that uh, the central bright spot will be white. Uh, and we can say that it's going to be white, because no matter how we change the, the wavelength of the light, the pattern is just going to be compressed rather than shifted up or down. Uh, so the central bright spot, uh, because the central bright spot is uh, a maximum for all wavelengths of light. But then we can say that the subsequent bright spots will be rainbow colored with uh, blue occurring first. and red last.
because uh, blue light has a shorter wavelength. And shorter wavelengths mean smaller patterns. So the pattern uh, starts repeating faster for the blue light, and the blue light sh shows up first. 